okay uh, in the previous lecture uh, we have started our second chapter that is word processing of our subject fundamental of ICT so uh, let's begin with the uh, further points from that uh, chapter uh, previously we have seen uh, what are the features of the word processor in detail and also we have studied about um, what is the entire overview of the uh, chapter and then we started one point from that that is uh, starting with the uh, text fonts what are the different types of fonts and what are the different uh, styles into it so let's continue with uh, what we have left in our previous lecture so uh, in previous lecture we have seen what are the basics of font uh, so i will repeat one uh, one more time here uh, what is font basically a font is a displayable text or a printable text uh, or a character or characters we can say in which uh, there can be a different variety of styles uh, specific styles and size different variety of styles and uh, sizes will be available so in this image you can see here uh, there are different types of uh, fonts uh, available uh, for example berlin uh, agency fb algerian arial arial black and the most commonly used uh, in previous lecture also i have told the one that is times new roman that is mostly uh, used uh, in all the standard uh, documents that are prepared digitally next uh, there are different kind of styles that we can give to the given text or uh, typed text on the ms word the first one is bold italic and the third one is underline uh, we have already seen in uh, this in last lecture still uh, in continuation we are studying this uh, bold is to make uh, that particular sentence particular text particular alphabet highlighted uh, it uh, makes it bit wider broader and it highlights it then afterwards there is italic here in the image also you can see italic is something it gives a slanting uh, look or a slant to that particular uh, word or text we can see after this uh, there is underline underline means whatever this uh, text you have typed uh, you can add a underline or highlight it with the help of underline feature okay so these are the three different commands that uh, can be used in ms word so let's now begin with uh, for the point is styles in word now in the home uh, home screen home screen of that particular ms word in the corner itself you can see that there are number of styles as i'm showing into this uh, image here uh, there will be number of styles like uh, heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 title subtitle normal no space so uh, these styles in the world are having its uh, own variations into it i mean suppose one uh, a, a small box from here that is a normal first box here you can have a different types of uh, font different font size effect italic bold colors and more once you select that one uh, box from this uh, above dialog box you can have uh, whatever uh, the whatever the font sizes and colors that are present into that particular option you can have it into your text directly I means suppose now that uh, first option here that is normal is having a color black to its text and it is having a slight underline to it or a slight italic in shape then once you uh, click on that you are going to get a, a completely changed text format okay in your uh, along with the font size also it will change a particular text once you select these uh, headings into styles so what is style a style is a format enhancing tool okay that is having different font type font size effects like bold italic underline and different colors and many more visual effects to the text okay now let's move to next point is a paragraph in the word uh, what does a paragraph indicate basically whenever you are using uh, writing on pen and paper even we use paragraph paragraph is something that gives a proper alignment a proper look to the particular text okay it enhances the quality of the text it makes uh, visual clarity to the user to the reader so the same thing is what we observe into the same thing is what we observe into uh, our digital uh, world also so here also paragraph is important so paragraph alignment can be done directly with few icons and few options that are present over the uh, home screen so here you can see 
in the images uh, that I have put into the particular slides, you can see there is one option called as format. On the right hand side picture, you can see that there is something called as format. Once you click on that format, you are going to get the options like paragraph, bullets and numberings also. Font, text effects are there, but uh, basically now we are studying about the paragraphs and the bullets and the numbering numberings into the um, particular text so here you can see that there is an option called paragraph so with this help with the help of this uh, option called paragraph what you can do is you can uh, use the text uh, to be centered or you can get it on the left or you can also get it on the right side so simultaneously with the help of these things you can uh, do the um, paragraph alignment uh, whether you want it on the center or you want it on the left side of the page or you want it uh, to be aligned on the straight right side of the page that depends upon the one's choice then uh, there is one more option here that is bullets and numbering so it also comes under certain uh, formatting only like paragraph it comes under the paragraph only because uh, it helps us to uh, give uh, again a better clarity to the points that we are mentioning we can highlight the points with the help of bullets and numberings okay so next, moving towards the next point. Okay, so the next point uh, we shall begin with is copy and paste in Word. Now copy and paste is uh, one of the easiest and uh, most widely used options nowadays, not only in the MS Word, but also in the uh, smartphone worlds also. Now it has become uh, more familiar and you guys, uh, all might be knowing about it. So, but still, uh, in the MS world, uh, it is uh, the most widely used concept like wherever there is a huge amount of text or something like that. That time what you can do is uh, you can select that particular region. You can copy that particular text uh, or any image or whatever you have been uh, trying to uh, ref reflect down. So these things you can do into the MS Word. So there are few steps into it. Like uh, first step is what you can highlight that particular region of text that you need to copy. Uh, that you can do with the help of your mouse then once you use and also you can do it with the help of few shortcuts on your keyboard then <clears throat> once you copy that particular uh, thing then what you have to do is uh, use the cut or copy option as in the image you can see that now <clears throat> you need to do is uh, you can uh, either use uh, on the screen option and again uh, when you right click on the mouse there also uh, by the side of the cursor you can find that same then you can uh, you need to select the cut or copy option and then you need to paste it wherever the region that is suitable you have uh, thought for uh, copying the particular data you can just keep your uh, keep your cursor over it and you can just uh, right click on your mouse and then you can uh, select the paste option or also on the home screen you can see cut copy and paste is there out of which any of the options you can select you want to perform okay next point Next point is change case in the word. Change case in the word is something like we can uh, change our uh, uh, text in the uh, form of cases, means uppercase or in the form of a lowercase. Means if we need a uh, small caps or you need a capitals. So depending upon that, you can change your case. Here there is an option on the screen where is uh, in the home page or the menu page of that particular ms microsoft world here you can see there are few options so depending upon the versions of your operating system and uh, whatever the updated software is the um, look or the graphics of that particular uh, software is going to change but any some or the uh, other place you are going to find these options as it is Okay, now here you can see there is an arrow marked known as change case. So if, uh, there is a one uh, big A means capital A and there is one small caps A. So what does this indicate? Uh, when you click on this particular uh, symbol, you can find here number of options like you can change the case of your sentence. You can make it completely smaller. You can make it completely uppercase means you can capitalize each and every word. Then uh, you can, then third option is capitalizing each and every word. Here what does it mean? It means that uh, first letter or first alphabet of every uh, word is capitalized here. Okay. So most widely used are these three, uppercase, lowercase and capitalizing the each, uh, each word. Okay, then uh, next point is previewing a document. Now what does this previewing a document means? Now whenever you have done with a certain text or a text or documentation creation on your uh, screen or your systems, then if you need to get it print out, it's hard copy. Then what you need to do is you need to use the 
print option from a screen so whenever you are using the print option from your screen we must know what we are printing or we must have an idea that once that hard copy is out what you are going to obtain on that screen for that purpose what you are going to do is you are going to perform a task of previewing a document so how to preview a document uh, i will show you the, these are the steps you, that you can note down okay then uh, there are few images that i will show that is there in the next slide so in this manner you can perform the task of uh, previewing a document or you can see once you have created the document you need to go to the option file there you will find the option called as print preview and also there is one more option that is print that is for the printing purpose now here we are uh, studying about how to preview a document so once you click on that print preview okay so you are going to have the next image over here that is present you are going to get a look of what is going to be printed on your particular uh, hard copy or hard paper so here you can see uh, you can change the number of copies here you can select your device the printer that is present next to your system then there is uh, options like what you want to print or all these things comes like uh, you want to give it a landscape mode or you won't need to change some styles into it or something looks you can add a page out a page layout to it you can add a border to your page these all things you can uh, perform once you click the option print preview also in this print preview you will uh, get to see uh, the most basic purpose is to know what you are going to print out or what your printout paper will be con uh, concluding with so for that purpose you use this previewing a document option in the world that is with the help of print uh, preview okay now let's move towards how to save a document now uh, for knowing how to save a document um, now whatever you have uh, prepared it must be saved right you can use it later on it is not a one time uh, thing to do if you have done it for one time and then later on uh, if it is destroyed so for that purpose so you need to save that particular document so you can use it for the next time also so how easy it is uh, actually to save a document just there is a one option that you need to go to is uh, here you can see uh, there is a on the home screen you can find one uh, box in the right uh, left corner yourself there once you click you will find few options like you need a new one document to create or you want to open the previous ones and then there comes a save option and there again comes a save as option so once what you need to do is uh, for the save uh, for saving it for the first time you need to use save as then once you use it uh, that option save as there you will find uh, you can give a name to your document you can give a certain unique identity to that document once you give that certain identity to that uh, particular document after that you can uh, select the option as save and then leave the particular page and the side here you can see now once you click the pay, uh, option as save uh, once you click the option save as here you can give a page title to it you can uh, sorry you can add a file name to it like uh, for example here it is given as my page then save the type as uh, different types will be available once you uh, select that save as type okay now depending upon what kind of a document you want to make you need to select it and then you need to give it a file name also okay after that you need to make the option choose the option like save the changes and the file is your document is saved okay without saving if you close the document a few data or whatever you have prepared can be lost completely okay the next last one point here into this word processes point is closing and exiting a document so closing and exiting goes hand in hand okay here what you can do is closing means like uh, you can minimize it the document in the background while you have opened something different you can keep that uh, background keep that particular document going on in the background itself so during this situation what will happen is if you have not done any changes in, if you have done few changes into it not saved the data may be lost right exiting is also uh, same exiting means completely coming out of the document uh, either saving the changes or without saving the changes so if you have not saved the changes that time it is going to prompt a certain message on the screen that you need to uh, save this particular one uh, changes that you have done or no if you select yes you need to save then the documents get saved with the changes that you have made if you have selected no then it is going to get uh, saved any way the way it was saved on the previously done changes or recently done changes will be not saved into your document 
so this is the uh, last point uh, when it comes to detailing of a word processor basics of the word processor uh, that is closing and exiting a document uh, so here we have seen starting from what are the basics of uh, ms word like its font changing the cases styles like bold italic and underline how to get a paragraph into it how to do numberings and bullets so these things we have uh, like how to previewing a document so these and saving a document these things we have studied throughout this lecture thank you